Rio is determined to get up to the Eiffel Tower, but it's closed. There's no one here working. So, you know, we'll wait five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and see if anyone shows up. But otherwise, we'll just have to do it another day, and it just wasn't meant to be. Good morning everyone. Today is a big day. We are going to Vegas. So the first thing we're gonna do is wake up Rio Jackson. He has been wanting to go to Vegas for quite some time to go see the Paris Hotel. But we're also going to Vegas to see the relaunch of my uncle's Cirque One show. And it all starts with us waking up Rio Jackson. Good morning. You know what today is? Las Vegas Day. Yeah. And what are you most excited about? The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. I didn't expect you guys up this early. You didn't. I'm up every morning early. Let's get your day going. It's just like 23 more minutes. 23 on that minutes. timer. Yeah, I think so. Do you have an alarm set? Yes. Oh, you want to sleep longer? Yes. Okay. Okie dokie. You guys are going to go right now? We were going to. <laughs> you want to go right now? Yeah. All right. But are we taking a road trip? It's kind of like a road trip. It's not that far of a drive. So it's not going to take so long. Come on, Bob. Let's get dressed. This isn't the Las Vegas one, this is the Paris one. Alright, let's get going. You love this picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got that in Paris. Good morning. Hi. Do you wish you would have went to the Eiffel Tower instead? Yes. Well, I You had a good time at the water show. Yeah, but... Let's watch a clip of that. Okay. Let's watch a clip of Rio at the water show. He still had a good time. <laughs> Is that actual water? That's water, baby. It's never gets old. Is he liking it? I've seen it at least 20 times. And here's the real Eiffel Tower. <clears throat> so basically, then the empty uh, triumph. Mm -hmm. And under that, the Statue of Liberty. Do you know the real reason, the main reason why we're going to Vegas? For gratitude. <laughs> That's a good guess. Because I want the Eiffel Tower. That's one reason. Oh, I know. What? Because we didn't get to see how the whole entire Eiffel Tower in the last Vegas trip. That is not the reason. The main reason why we're going to Vegas is because of Uncle Michael's show. We're going to celebrate Uncle Michael and his birthday and his life at the Cirque One show. So wait. So wait, is he old? Uncle Michael's no longer with us, but we celebrate the legacy and the magic he created and the love he shared with the world at the Cirque show. So that's what we're going to do. Okay? Before the Eiffel Tower? Or we're gonna do both. We're gonna, we'll do the Eiffel Tower first, then we're gonna go celebrate at the one yeah. show. Alright? Yeah. Alright. Be aware, Dad, because you're gonna eat some French food at the Paris Hotel. Okay. I promise you, it's Paris. Okay. It's just like Paris? Yes. Alright, we're gonna see. It's French food, but they got some noise and burgers. They got some delicious burgers. Yeah. Alright, we'll see. Okay, go get dressed. Okay. He is excited, to say the least. We were supposed to go a couple weeks ago, but I got sick. So, now we're going and it's cool to go now because his excitement has just ramped up. So, 
It's gonna be a good trip. Who sent that to you? Sally. She just sends you a bunch of stuff? Yeah. You should never come untied at school, buddy. We played um, No Sleep Till Brooklyn like five million times in that car ride. That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna miss one of my favorite periods. Which is which one? Um, oh shoot, I have to run my Period three, sorry. I have the best class with that class. <sighs> Can't wait to meet you. Rio's shoes came untied yesterday, Dad. Did they fall? Yeah, they fall, fall off when I was running. You did not. You did not take the right joke. While we're driving to Vegas, I'm literally gonna drive to Vegas. You're gonna drive? Or Daddy's gonna drive? Here. Oh, nice, thanks. Minnie. Oh my gosh. Here's a J, a T and a J. It's for, Dada. for daddy. I'll just do J. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I don't want you to ruin it. No. No, Floyd, I'm not going to ruin it. What do you think? I'm going to oh, punch somebody? That's Dada. cute. So okay, that, no. Can I have the J, please? No, no. Please, can I have the J? No. You're going to ruin it. I won't it. ruin it. Show you Look how cute that is. Okay, I you better not. Ruin. Let me see. Wait, is it the wrong way? It's cute. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it's quirky like me. And we're off to Vegas. The entertainment capital of the world. The gambling capital of the world. The marriage capital of the world. The neon capital of the world. The city of lights. The city that never sleeps. The city of second chances. And also the city that's close to these magical rocks. I'll let Rio explain. So basically, it's a good look. Because rainbows and the and lucky number seven, there's seven of these rocks. I remember how I said they're not mountains, they're just stones. Uh -huh. See that? Who well, I knew about this place because I'm very smart and I knew about it since I knew about Las Vegas. That it was maybe the oldest. Thing in Nevada. Maybe it's older than the oldest wonder of the world, the, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Maybe back then it it was like no vehicles or anything to lift these rocks up. And they're maybe over 5,000 pounds. Hey guys, it's Rio. And I want to tell you about the seven magic mountains. Or well, is it a wonderland or just some rock towers in the desert. Well, nobody knows. But for me, it's just a wonderland. But it actually is it's just rock towers. What do you think about this? Hold on, dude. Let me get some light. It's hot. I saw it. It's cool. Now I want to go. We are at the Seven Magic Mountains here in Nevada. I didn't even know this place existed, and that's sad because I've been to Las Vegas and driven to Las Vegas so many times. But again, it was Rio, the one who figured it out and found this place. And it is really cool. It's a nice stop. It's, what, maybe a half a mile, a mile from the freeway, so it's super close, and it's on the way. So it's not really out of the way of Las Vegas if you're coming from Southern California. So, with that said, um, definitely if you have kids, come see it. It's hot. I feel like the sun is right on me. That is true, but it's all good. Again, the whole purpose of this trip is to celebrate my uncle's legacy and his life and, and beautiful gifts that he gave this world through his art. All right, you guys. Looks like the girls have already done their physical activity for today, but I have not. So I am going to get into it, do a quick little workout. We're actually traveling um, in Vegas today, so I'll do what I can. Oh, finally a cow! All right, it is Friday night, and we are doing our evening walk with the Rio. Yeah. 
we are on the strip. Just us two going on a little walk uh, for our activity for the day. We drove up to Vegas. We saw Seven Magic, what is it called? Seven Magic Mountain? Um, never knew it existed. Rio found it, of course. So excited. We we're on our way to go see the Eiffel Tower. Yes, um, something, something we've been wanting to do. I feel like we're going the wrong way. No, we're not. Father and son walk. We're gonna get there. We're gonna take our time and get there nice and easy, okay? That's where God is. Where? where is God is all around you, my friend. That goes way up there, doesn't it? Yeah. He's actually been more obsessed with the Eiffel Tower than ever. So, what kind of father would I be if I'm, he lived so close to Vegas and he didn't get to go see it? This little guy is so excited. He's been waiting months for this moment. And there's the MJ1 tram, which is always cool to see. But Vegas at night, you're bound to see things that you would have never expected to see. It's hot. It's, I think, over 100 degrees still at this time. Um, yeah, it's not hot to me. You're just excited, man. Rio's beyond excited. He's ecstatic. He got to see so many cool things. There's the Statue of Liberty which is another one of his favorite monuments. Roller coasters, the Arc de Triomphe, the Arc de Triomphe. We're in Paris. Well, as close as we're gonna get to in the States. He just loves the French culture and it's really, really cool. I don't know why, probably because of COVID it's closed. We couldn't get to the top, but we are under the Eiffel Tower right now. Rio is determined to get up to the Eiffel Tower, but it's closed. There's no one here working. So, you know, we'll wait five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and see if anyone shows up. But otherwise, we'll just have to do it another day and it just wasn't meant to be. All right, so got confirmation from a security guard that it's closed today. He didn't know why, and it's just tonight, it's closed. I gotta say, I'm very proud of him. He's walking, he's hanging in there, and we just passed three miles. Three miles of walking. On our way to, where are we going? Excalibur Arcade. Excalibur Arcade with the little monkeys. We are not working out today. Did you guys work out today? No. Okay guys, no working out for me today, but we are taking the kids to play games and um, my eating has been great. So I will keep eating well, but probably not get a workout in today. Yeah, no workout for me today guys, but you know what? The kids had a great time playing games and we made some wonderful memories. And talking about wonderful memories, we headed to the Michael Jackson One Theater, where I got to show my younger kids and teach them a bit about my Uncle Michael. All the magic he created, the, the records he sold, the dancing, all the moves, all the cool wardrobe he wore. Yep, it was a great opportunity to teach the youngsters. My Uncle Michael, such a magical person who inspired so many. <laughs> That was the end of a dance competition from some of my uncle's biggest fans and a Q&A before the main MJ1 show. As people start coming in for foods and snacks, it's almost showtime. And as we get ready for the real show, I have some words I want to say about my Uncle Michael. I will forever appreciate you. I will forever be thankful for you. I will forever love you, Uncle Michael. You were there for me and my brothers when we needed someone most. And I'll never forget that. You inspired us by taking us around the world and showing us things that we never could imagine seeing. You were the blueprint on how to be successful all while leading with your heart and love. You taught us that dreams can come true. You did it with class, character, and compassion. And in a world so troubled, you showed us and proved to the world that you can change the world by leading with light and love. You are the blueprint, and you will always be. I love you and forever miss you, Uncle Michael. Mijo. Mi